Greetings to all, Archit here. In this video, I'm going to continue with the creating of load balancers. And the topic for this video is to create an application load balancer. To create an application load balancer, first we will have to create the target group of instances. So basically these two are the instances that we had I had created earlier. And I'm using these two instances to create the application load balancer. And for that, for first I will have to create a target group. So basically a target group is basically bundling of instances together to give the target group as a whole, as a bundle to the application load balancer settings. So over here we will go to target groups and the load balancing and I will create target group. When I create target group, I can choose what I want to uh, choose to create to bundle together. And here I'm going to proceed with instances as we want to bundle instances together. Over here, the protocol of the target group is going to be HTTP port with the port 80 itself. And I will have to give a name to the target group. Say for example, target for application load balancer. Okay. And in the next step, over here in the health check path, we have to go, we are going to give the file index.html. Basically, which is the file that I had given to the application to e to both of the instances, the application that is running on my instance is indexed. Is this in the file index.html? After which I will proceed to create the target group. I will select both target groups and in, click on include as pending below. The selected port for uh, the instance is going to be 80 itself. Now I have both the instances as review targets and the state is up and running. I will click on create target groups. So you can see the target group has been created successfully. We can go inside the target group and check what is going on. The health status of this is, has to be perfect. So now over here, it says that the target group is not yet configured to receive traffic from the load balancer. So what we have to do is we'll go to load balancers and we'll have to create a load balancer, application load balancer in this case. Over here uh, in the target groups, we can also go and check the health checks. So basically what happens is uh, we had kept five seconds, okay? So the timeout for every, every instance is going to be five seconds and the threshold that is there, the healthy threshold, it says that five consecutive health check successes. So basically un until and unless there are more than five health checks, the instance will be there, but any of the health checks go, uh, fails, the another instance will be loaded and shown to the user. Let's come to load balancers and start creating an application load balancer, which is this one. So basically it says that when we need a flexible feature set for your applications, which HTTP and HTTPS traffic, over here, we'll come, we'll write the name. I'll put, say, application load balancer for Archit. Okay, these are the other settings, the scheme and the IP address type that we can put over here. It's going to be internet facing and IPv4. In the network mapping, what, if, what we have to do is, uh, we are inside, uh, Okay, firstly, we are, we are selecting the default virtual private cloud that is there with us. And inside North Virginia, what we will do is these are the availability zones. There are six different availability zones inside one region, in this particular region. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these to make sure that none of the instance uh, goes faulty and the user doesn't get any output. I have selected all the availability zones. In the next, I will have to configure the security groups with HTTP, proto HTTP protocol. So basically the security group that is there over here, we have selected the default one over here. 
then we can also select yes see last time uh, i had created the security group for my other load balancer the classical one over here i'm going to use the same security group which is the quick create archer security group and over here i'm going to add a listener So instead of uh, adding a listener, what I will have to actually do is I will have to select the target group that I had created earlier by connecting by bundling both of my instances. So I have selected the target group that I had created and proceeding further, I can check the summary of the settings that I have chosen for my application load balancer. These are all the availability zones that I selected and the virtual private cloud. The listener and the routing is the, the listener is the HTTP port with port 18 port number 80 and the routing is for instances where basically where your application load balancer will be routed to which is which contains both of my instances and i will proceed further with create a load balancer it is success it says that it's successfully created now i will view the load balancer As we can see, it's still in the provisioning state. We will have to wait for some time for the service to create the load balancer and make the applications up and running. Now to check if the application load balancer is running, we will have to copy the DNS name into the URL and check if the application load balancer is running perfectly. This is our application load balancer. I have loaded it. And as we can see, we, it's a small thing that we have to notice over here is that not always the first instance will be loaded first. It depends on which instance will be loaded first randomly. So this time we can see this the second instance has been loaded first. Now when I refresh, it still has the second instance. So basically, we have a time interval of uh, 200 seconds. So for 200 seconds until and unless the application doesn't fail or the EC2 instance, you know, doesn't jump its availability zone, this, this application won't change. See, so now there must have been some issue in the health check and suddenly the, inst the, the instance got changed with the availability zone and the application we can see has been changed. So that's it for the application load balancer. And you, as, as we had set the security groups to be HTTP port number 80, anywhere with the, anyone on the World Wide Web with this particular link can access this application load balance. That's it from now, from my side today for the informational tutorial about an application load balancer. Thank you.